All right, so I just finished sewing together a strip of squares and started pinning it to the quilt so that I can sew it to the quilt. And I realized as I was pinning it that I had done one square too many. And so you can see this is the quilt piece here and I've gone too far. So now I have to remove the last square because it's only supposed to have 10, not 11. So I figured I would show you how to take out a seam. Now, hopefully you can see the stitches there. This is a seam ripper. And you're going to take, I like to start, this is the area where I've back stitched. So you've got forward and back in the same spot. So I don't like to start there. I prefer to go a little bit further and you're going to slip underneath and it'll cut the thread. You can go underneath and now it's cut. Now, because this is quilting cotton and quilting cotton is strong, I like to use a different method because I don't want to have to slip under the stitches every time because that's difficult. So what I do is now I've got a hole and I'm pulling slightly. You can see the stitches here. I'm pulling slightly so that it opens them. And I just go under. There, that's better. I'm not used to doing this when I'm focused on the camera instead of focused on the stitches. Now I can do this with quilting cotton because it's a strong fabric, but you definitely wouldn't want to do it with a sheer fabric or um, like organza or something like that because you'll tear the fabric, but you don't have to worry about that with quilting cotton. So I just pull it apart a little bit until it won't pull apart and then cut. out the stitches at the beginning. There you go. And now when you look at your fabric, there's going to be stitches still in there and those are easy to just pull out. Now it's done. That's how you take a seam out. Not difficult, doesn't really, well, this is only a few inches wide, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't take that long. Now, if I had to take out an entire strip, that would take a lot longer, but thankfully I don't have to do that. All right, now I'm going back to sewing and I'll talk to you later.